game one here on Smashville. We've got Bugcatcher Will coming back from hiatus, and we've got Jonah on Not the hiatus. <laughs> BC Will, even though he was from hiatus, kicked my ass today. <laughs> I know, I was happy. Because I'm getting the last bit of warmth before daylight savings time. So it looks like we're seeing Jojono just hit a lot of his bread and butter right now. All he's doing is just neutral air, up air, you know, cloud staples, which I'm actually really surprised the Bucking Trouble is getting hit by. I'm not really sure why, uh, not really sure why Jojono wasted his, his up special there. Hello, Soul Calibur jumping on here. So the beginning of this match was dominated by Jojono, getting all of his bread and butter combos, up airs, neutral airs, uh, his grab game was on point. But uh, now that Buckcatcher Will has got his aura, uh, every little strike hit that he's getting in is just that much more important. Yeah, he's definitely falling back. He's got to watch their cover here. Yeah, I respect going for the two frame. It was a safe option, but very hard to hit. Jonah knowing his recoveries pretty well. He must know this matchup. Ooh, he got him by the yeah. two frame. The very first week. Ooh, nice two frame. The first week that Jojono was here, uh, Bugcatcher Will played in, and he was not happy about losing the cloud. Oh yeah, I had a Mario. Yeah. I <laughs> so. uh... I mean, I guess maybe Bucket Will struggles with matchup, or he maybe struggles against Jojono himself, but I am seeing improvement from him. Uh, but also, I don't know how much he has been practicing since he's been on hiatus. I know he's had a lot of school with Violet. Mm -hmm. And Jojono seems to be a ton, but he just got Oh my! That's it. That's game wow. one. Wow. Oh my god. He was, just, he was in his head. Did you see that air dodge read? And you know... Oh, that was so quick. <laughs> oh my god. Although Buckcatcher Will seems very composed physically, so I don't think he, I think he's um, trying to keep that fire on the inside. Thinking of that math equation that he hasn't solved yet, maybe yeah, keeping yeah. His, he's keeping his cool. Though. The Jigjono equation, the Jigjono variable. Going to battlefield game two. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, does Buckcatcher Will select the stage, or is it advantageous for Mario? So. I think it's just a comfort pick for Bucket to Will because I think Cloud has a lot more gym than Lucario at his 0%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, in this matchup, I just like what happened before, Cloud is going to dominate the early game, but in the middle to late percents, that's where Bucket to Will is going to shine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still think Duck Hunt would have been a lot better because he wouldn't have gotten comboed that hard. Like, oh, absolutely. And he's, he's gone Duck Hunt before. I'm not really sure why he's here. But... He has his reasons. We're even right now. His loss was at Duck Hunt against him, though, so that might be the case. Why something, just trying something different, trying new stuff. It's only a weekly. Right. Because it's only a weekly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so it looks like uh, John has aura of his own with that, that new light there. But... Uh, before, I had questioned his use of Limit Up B when he was right on the ledge, but that time he used it to avoid uh, Lucario's core escape, so that was a very smart use of Limit, that was not a waste. Mm -hmm. And Cloud's got like, what, third Limit right now, so he's, he's got most of the back. Oh. Ooh, I wish I would fuck catch Will. Did you see? Jojono is becoming very consistent with that two frame. That, that slide on the ledge just must be very effective against Lucario. Mm -hmm. You must be practicing there, just, you know, playing enough in the tournament. I mean, Lucario's recovery is very, once you see him start the animation, it's very easy to see when he's going to snap to the ledge. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think, there are many characters that have as successful of a two frame as Cloud does. Mario comes to mind too, because that's attack. Uh, so Maybe... Again, using that up to avoid the... Or sphere. Maybe the Kitcher will need to sort of spin a little bit. I know he gets a little uh, intimidated when he recovers, because what you saw his first dodge happens mm -hmm. frequently. I think he still needs to get a little more comfortable turning around for his uh, two frames. Right now he is trying back in the loop, but he's still at 97%. He's still got a lot to go. Yeah, for every every couple, every three hits Bugcatcher Will gets in, Jijono gets three more. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think uh, it looks like Bugcatcher Will is playing very, very aggressive. And it's well, maybe I'm standing I stand corrected, but I don't think it's really working out for him right now. But he is approaching uh, stronger aura. I don't, I don't think Cloud has jumped. Oh, that's a two frame. frame. Oh, yeah, I think 
where was in general. Oh my gosh, yeah. two, two cool rings. Well, I mean, Cloud insane. can't snap to the ledge, so he was kind of doomed in that situation. Uh, if anything, Jujomo should have tried to mix up his recovery and go uh, way above the ledge, but... Or wait a little bit, but those aura balls are huge, especially at like... 97? Lizzie. Yeah, 97, 110, whatever it is. Yeah, 97 is when they approach for like an actual respectable size, but... I'm like to see where it'll go. I'd like to take a moment, thank all my RuneScape su subscribers for still watching my videos. <laughs> I have a better question. What the hell are you doing? All right. Anyway, back to game three here. Yeah, uh, Dijono going for that low ceiling right now on Town and City, which is, this stage is much more advantageous for Cloud than it is for uh, Cario. Mm -hmm. And it sounded like uh, just from their exchange that Ring Man was also. So Dijono does not want those platforms, especially definitely comfortable with those platforms or felt like he was abusing him a lot more. But right now Tijono is uh, falling 50% behind. Doesn't hurt that much against Lucario. Or vice versa, I'm sorry, but Ketra Will is behind 50% right now. Exactly. And like, that's okay. Yeah, Cloud's gonna dominate the early game, really no matter who's playing this matchup. Uh, ooh! That was a very nice spike by Tijono, but... Tijono, but unfortunate placement, unfortunate DI by Ketra Will. And now, see, we're back at that early percent cloud domination. Cloud's also early percent, so he's got he's gonna get away. Jojono is just back in Bucket Will's head. He's gonna the grab insane. Yeah. Oh man, and going that's low. it. Wow, just complete mental domination right there. He knew exactly what he's gonna do every time. Contest. Take notes, boys. Maybe you'll get him next time. You can stop. You can stop. Still fun to watch though.